This is Kandahar City, near the front lines of Afghanistan's long war. A lot of the human wreckage from the southern battlefields arrives here at Mirways Hospital, the regional medical facility. The dead are taken around the back to the morgue. So the last time I was here, there, were, there was only one container uh, that had a couple of bodies in it, and that was at the height of the summer fighting season. Now he's saying they've got four containers plus uh, another facility over there so they can have a lot more capacity than they used to. Back in 2007, staff told me they had trouble keeping up with the rising violence. We had no idea at the time that the killings would double, triple, just keep growing. You know, they've, they've upgraded this facility with 24-7 electricity. And so it doesn't smell nearly as bad as it did last time I was here. And they've got body bags, which is an improvement as well. Numbers can seem really abstract, but here at a facility like this, you really get a visceral sense of the growing magnitude of the war. You know, this is the biggest conflict on the planet Earth. At Crisis Group, when we talk to uh, interlocutors, especially, you know, high level political interlocutors, they sometimes tell us the time isn't right, the strategic situation isn't good for a, a fulsome negotiation with the Taliban. What I always say to them is, can you really picture the death toll? Can you imagine it? It's hard to, to wrap your mind around the numbers. But here, you know, when you see this mortuary facility growing over the years, you really get a feeling for the scale of the carnage. And at this rate, if we wait a few more years for peace, that's another 100,000 dead people. <laughs> 